Good evening. We'll be discussing the state of the tropical Atlantic uh, in the evening of September 16th. So here's an Invis 94L uh, out just west of the Cabo Verde Islands. Now, this wave has actually been quite organized as in has had quite a spin since it came off the coast of Africa except uh, due to general stability in this part of the basin as well as cooler uh, sea surface temperatures and some mild easterly shear it has been holding on to this convection and therefore it hasn't really been able to organize into a tropical depression or tropical storm it's probably going to be dealing with this for the next few days so it's unlikely to organized sufficiently into a tropical cyclone until the, the beginning of this week. Now looking at the ship's intensity forecast, conditions become more favorable around day two onward. Now as you can see it quite there's quite robust strengthening forecast here. Uh, Note that this kind of, this need this is very unreliable. If you have a just a tropical wave, is it assumes a tropical cyclone is already formed, and thus doesn't need to organize like Invis 94L does need to do first. Now, right now there is some of that mild shear out of the east, as you can see here. It's about 90 degrees at the east. And it looks to increase to about 10 knots in the next 24 or 36 hours, which may shear off a bit of convection, but shouldn't destroy it. Destroy it. But as you get to pass uh, to 48 hours and beyond, shear gets much lower and that becomes generally a non issue. Uh, the sea surface temperatures are right now sufficient for development, but is being outweighed by some other negative factors currently. But as you can see, it right starts to rise, which is of course more favorable as it increases the lapse rate and uh, almost like incentiv incentivizes the convection to actually fire. Looking at the relative humidity, this is actually trending more favorable uh, since yesterday. These values were around 50 and are now more like 55%. This relative humidity means that it, uh, that Invest 94L won't have as much drier at the mid levels, which can collapse convection and cause. Uh, outflow boundaries at low levels, which can destroy uh, vortexes due to the, the anti-cyclonic uh, wind coming up, which happens during uh, low level divergence. So this is, this allows Invest 94L to not have this problem as bad and actually hold on to the convection which allows it to generate low, low level convergence and helps it lower pressures and eventually close off of some kind of vortex. Now if you look here it's passed uh, by GFS points or global forecasting system to stay steady and until about 24 hours from now, it starts to move uh, south and west. And uh, about almost two degrees the, like south, which is pretty big. Also interesting to note, the system is forecast to slow down and almost stall. Uh, around 45 degrees west and 
uh, also your heat content it, it rises as you get further west in the basin which means there's more energy to tap into when the uh, for the convection uh, here are some uh, so like spaghetti models here which basically are a bunch of models which uh, predict where it's going to go. Now, if you see these two models, these are both statistical models, which means they use climatology to try and guess where the tropical cyclone or system is going to go. And as you can see, this climatolog climatological average takes it a bit north and almost northwest which is much different from the more dynamical average here which takes it uh, even south of due west or you could say south and west uh, so you may it would be a generally good decision maybe even ignore these two models as the steering flow isn't climatological and is steering storm much further south than usual. Also to note, uh, this here is a T, uh, TABS model, which, basic, which is a semi-dynamic model, uh, generally modeling the flow with a weak shallow system. Is the same model but for medium systems, so it's a stronger system, and then deep systems, which are the deep, basically the strongest. The stronger system, uh, contrary to what you might hear, uh, would go more south in the type of environment uh, due to stronger rigging aloft rather than at the surface despite uh, things like beta shift, which makes a tropical cyclone want to move the northwest northwest so the system is stronger you might expect a more southerly uh, track also note uh, it, these models also do slow down in 24 hours uh, here is the 24 hour general consensus here is 48 hour uh, here's 72 hours and then after that really starts to slow down you get 90 and 120 much these get much closer as the system slows down uh, at first here it gets steered by a strong ridge and a uh, trough to the east which imparts northerly flow onto it pushing it south but uh, the ridge weakens around 36 hours, and but not enough to turn it actually north. It is a possibility, but uh, uh, that's more after 120 hours. But it slows. It's enough to slow 94L down to only a few knots, and. We'll have to see what happens after 120 hours, whether whether the ridge can start building back in, the system will speed up uh, towards the Caribbean or moves northward away from there. This, if Invest 94L isn't developed at this point, this will be at another favorable indicator as the slower speed will allow the vortex to close off more easily and generate Earth relative westerlies. So, but otherwise, it's not too much more favorable. Uh, here are the sea surface temperatures that it's tracking through. So, Invest 94L is about here ish. Uh, and you see the sea surface temperatures are about 27 degrees Celsius. Not great, but not terrible. And then the general spaghetti model consensus here takes it more to the south in and as you go further west and more to the south 
Maybe not this part, but as it goes more south, it hits warmer sea surface temperatures, as you can see in the the ship ship's guidance, which means that it will ha again have more energy and heat content to work with to get there. Now, taking a look at uh, Tropical Gabrielle. Uh, convection actually, Gabrielle's actually made a post cold cyclone this morning after convection stopped firing, especially over the low. But the after the deep convection return, you can see, and next dry cycle became a tropical cyclone again. Uh, or a tropical storm. As you can see, though, still uh, there's some s mild southerly shear that is keeping this deep convection north of uh, the low level center, which is around area or more like the southeasterly shear. Uh, well, as you notice, it's not the shear vector has turned more to the east as starts around the upper level low and here in the water vapor oh, sorry oh some technical difficulty there see in the water vapor loop there's a uh, upper low right here that's spinning around and then also uh, uh, an upper level ridge and also you can see 94L right down in convection and this is causing southwesterly shear in this area but since Gabrielle is now up around here, the flow is more out of the south. And you can see the dry air has backed off a bit. It's not deep, uh, like orange and large area of yellow that we saw yesterday. So this might be why convection could refire because the air uh, allowed the convection to actually not be collapsing every time it tried to occur. Now the, f the forecast for Gabriel is for it to have lower shear as it rounds around the, around the top of the upper rope and turn a bit more from going out of the south or, uh, to more of an easterly uh, so the shear gets lower and attracting the warmer sea surface temperatures, which allows it to uh, like stack that convection and actually become stronger. The National Hurricane Center forecast calls for calls for it to become a 90 mile an hour hurricane. Uh, and then. Here is Hurricane Dorian. So this one is actually the only one about to impact land very soon. So just get this first. I'm not a meteorologist and my thoughts are not official at all. Please consult uh, your local fish officials, National Hurricane Center or uh, Environment Canada. This is going to be hitting uh, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Uh, to make your decisions about the storm. Now, as you can see, it's uh, Dorian has become less organized, at least on IR, and the eye has disappeared. It appears to be undergoing uh, extra tropical, uh, extra tropical, uh, becoming an extra tropical. Um, and you can see it kind of a developed front here. It's a bit immature. 
JavaScript now, but right here, I see a, a bit of a bear clinic leaf where the jet uh, uh, moves the outflow out of this area. Now the system is obviously warm, as you can see with all the compression, but with this front developing eventually into the core and come make it cold core, and that uh, should happen around the time it or near Nova Scotia. Uh, even then, it's still expected to be dangerous with some surge and high winds. Uh, well, that's it for today. Uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you have any feedback, please tell me so I can make future videos uh, even better than this. Not that I'd say this one's very good, but anyway, thank you for listening.